If you would like to get your hands on GTA 5 Shark Card Cash for absolutely free whenever you guys want it, then click the link in the description below to appbounty.net and use code NPF for a bonus. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today what we're going to do is take a look at 7 things which you guys probably didn't know about in GTA 5. What I have for you guys today is honestly crazy and I can't wait to get into the list. And before we get into this guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone and anyone who did leave a like or just support the last video we did in this series. We set the like goal at 5,000 likes and said if we hit that then we would come out with another video and you guys got 5,000 likes on that episode in the first 24 hours we uploaded it, which is seriously insane. So thank you so much for the incredible support you guys left on the previous video. Once again, let's try and smash our goal of 5,000 likes in today's video and if you guys do like the compilation, if you want to see more tips and tricks like this, go and subscribe to a good friend of mine called Thomas3630. He helps me out every single time we do one of these videos and he also does compilations as well. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at a glitch which was discovered totally by accident and this is absolutely insane how this works because what we're going to be doing is just reducing the cooldown period on the rocket car to barely anything. So you guys can just keep using the rocket over and over again and you won't have any sort of cooldown period in between. And all you're going to want to do is have your friend in the driver's seat use the rocket boost to go off any sort of mountain, off a cliff or anything else like that and then you need to be in the passenger seat and all you're going to want to do is go over into the driver's seat, close the door and be ready to drive the car before it touches the ground. So as you guys saw there, I pretty much did this just in the nick of time. If I was a little bit slower in the process, then this glitch may not have worked and we would have to do this again, but it's fairly easy to do and all you're going to want to do is transfer yourself from the passenger seat to the driver's seat in the rocket car within the time you're in the air. And it's as simple as that. By the time you land, you will have pretty much unlimited rocket boosts and you won't really have any sort of cooldown period in between, which is absolutely insane. Now this vehicle is actually my own vehicle and I got my friend Thomas to drive it, so it doesn't really matter who is driving the vehicle at the time, just as long as you have your own rocket Voltic. And you can do this on ramps, you can do it on mountains, you can do it off cliffs, just make sure you have a lot of airspace in between, because the more airspace you have and the more time your vehicle is in the air, the easier this glitch will be for you guys. But of course, it doesn't really matter where you do this, just make sure you get the process of transferring yourself from the passenger seat to the driver's seat whilst you are in the air. So I will let you guys choose your location, it can literally be anything, and if you guys do find some cool locations to do this glitch in, let me know in the comments section below. But I'm simply racing my friend Thomas who is now in his rocket car, and I believe the cooldown period is something like 6-10 to 10 seconds, and I managed to use my boost 4 times on Trevor's airstrip, which is insane, and he used it once once guys. So th this is just crazy. I love this glitch so much and you can just go ham with it. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this and let's get straight into the next thing. Okay, so next up, this is just a really cool location where you can just hide from your friends or just anyone in the session, even if you don't like them or anything else like that. This is just a great way to troll them and all you're going to want to do is come over to this location, preferably not with a wanted level, unlike myself, who decided to go on a killing spree before we went into this. But all you're going to want to do is simply walk into this hedge it's as simple as that. I showed the location at the start of this clip, but it's basically on the south side of the golf course on the outside. And all you're going to want to do is walk through the hedge in first person, and you will notice your entire character will glitch inside the hedge. Now, there's not too much room where you can walk around inside the hedge, despite what you guys may see in this video as one huge corridor going down the hedge. Unfortunately, there's kind of like an invisible barrier, so you can't really go past it. But there's enough space inside the hedge for you to completely submerge your character within it. So no one can see where you are. Now the awesome thing about this is that it's not god mode either. If someone were to shoot you or spray down the hedge, then they would obviously kill you because you're inside a hedge. But it's still an awesome location and I absolutely love locations like those. Okay, so next up, all you're going to want to do is simply just admire this amazing stunt jump first. Look at that guys. Anyway, all you're going to want to do is find this specific truck. You can find them on this bridge, they're pretty common on this bridge in the morning in GTA, but we found them throughout the entire day in GTA 5 from morning to evening. But once you do get inside this truck, all you're going to want to do is lean against the front part or the back part of this truck in the trailer part. And what you will notice is your entire character will then emerge himself in the gravel or the dirt in the back of the truck. Now this is just a great secret location on the go. The vehicle itself is extremely stable as well, so you don't have to worry about falling out of it or falling away or killing yourself in the gravel and stuff. It's completely stable, so have some fun. And next up guys, this will blow your mind. This is actually insane 
Dane because a very good friend of mine, I've mentioned him in the past, he's known as Davy Dustin. And if you guys do like GTA 5 mysteries and easter eggs and if you do search the subreddits and if you search online and stuff, you may have come across this guy. But he recently just found this and it is the literal swamp monster killing him in this area. Now this is a mystery he's been investigating for a while but it was only recently when he actually managed to encounter this with his character simply dying during the search of this investigation. He was just walking across, he looked down at the ground and boom, he just died out of nowhere. And he also found some pretty interesting and really spooky things in this area as well and I will leave a link to his entire video in the description below. But this is the first evidence of Swamp Monster in GTA 5. What is once a myth is now actually becoming true. And the awesome thing about this is that it's not too far-fetched as well. Swamp Monster has always kind of been a myth in this game because if you guys do take a look in the game files at things around Fort Zancuto, you will see stuff which resembles a Swamp Monster, audio files which would come from a monster, and stuff which we just haven't yet discovered. So there's definitely something lurking around the swamps and something for us to discover. So if you guys want to search more about this, then go and check out Davy Dustin. He's an absolutely amazing mystery hunter. This was actually his second video on the Swamp Monster. There's tons of information about him and uh, yeah, I recommend you guys go and check it out. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so next up, we're gonna be taking a look at probably the most expensive and valuable clothing glitch in GTA 5 because this glitch is not going to get you just a t-shirt, some trousers, maybe a few glitch things here and there. This is going to give you an outfit worth $200,000 for absolutely free, which is just insane. So I had to include it, guys. So all you're going to want to do is simply start up Deadline 1, and once you're in this mission, all you're going to want to do is spam player mood by pressing right on the D-pad for about 30 seconds or so. Now, I do this for about a minute in my time just to make sure I definitely do this, but 30 seconds should definitely be enough for you guys. It just depends on how skeptical you are and how confident you are in doing this glitch. But if you do this for a minute straight, then you're definitely going to get this working every single time. Anyway, once you have spammed player mood with right on the D-pad for well over 30 seconds, you're then going to want to make sure you line up your bike so you're not going to fall off within the next few seconds or so and you're not going to die. So the best thing to do for this is to simply find a corner and simply turn 90 degrees and have the longest stretch of just straight platform in front of you as possible. Whilst you are doing this, all you're going to want to do is go down to TV and video on your PlayStation 4 dashboard, open up YouTube, and once it's opened up, press yes. It will then suspend your GTA 5 session and say we cannot load up YouTube. You're then going to want to press OK, go back to GTA 5, and what you will notice is you will be greeted with this error message saying your session was suspended. Simply accept the message move on and it will take you into another GTA online session. It should load you into another GTA online session pretty fast. In fact, it only took about 30 seconds for me to actually find a new online session, so don't worry about waiting or anything like that. The entire process happens pretty fast, but eventually once it does find a GTA online session, it will then put you to wherever your last spawn location was. So for example, in my case, my spawn location was my office. Anyway, eventually once it does plonk you back into GTA online, you will know if you've done the glitch correctly because your character will then be wearing the outfit, which of course was in the Deadline 1 mission, which is this outfit. Now this outfit is worth $200,000 and you guys can get different colors of this outfit depending on the team you guys are on. So say for example, if I wanted to get the purple outfit, I could have joined the purple team and got that outfit for myself. It varies depending on which team you're on, but eventually once you get your outfit, save it and there you go, $200,000 for free. And next up guys, I'm going to show you guys an extremely old glitch, but this was actually patched for a very, very long time and it only came to my attention recently that this was working again and I'm not too sure why it was patched but it just wasn't really working and many players kind of forgot about it but this is how you can cycle sideways and it's awesome I love this glitch so much I remember back in the days when GTA came out I used this glitch so many times and looking back at it I have so many awesome memories doing this glitch so many amazing and fun moments anyway all you're going to want to do is simply bunny hop into this wall turn your bike sideways and keep cycling it's as simple as that now it may take a a few tries to pick it up at the start, but once you guys do pick this up, you can get it done pretty much every single time, and it's extremely easy to do, despite the glitch looking complicated, tricky, and just difficult. But I promise you guys, if you do give this a try, it's extremely easy to do, and if you do this with some friends, you're going to have loads and loads of fun. Anyway guys, last but not least, speaking of fun glitches, this is just a very easy launch glitch, and all you're going to want to do is go into first person and run into this rock. 
as simple as that. And there we go, your character will go flying into the sky. And there's plenty of launch glitches in GTA 5, but the reason why I chose this one over all of them is because imagine if you're driving down the highway and suddenly you see a bunch of people just popping off into the sky and stuff by simply just running into a rock. It's something which I can imagine extremely well and I could just see would be insane and hilarious. But nonetheless, I think you guys should check out this launch glitch. It's definitely one of the easiest and better ones in GTA 5 right now. But of course, there's plenty of launch glitches around GTA 5. This one is just, in my opinion, the best one to do right now. Anyway, guys, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for you today. But if you did enjoy today's episode, please don't leave without smashing that thumbs up button. It would be greatly appreciated. And let me know in the comments section below if you guys did learn something new as well. Once again, if we do get 5,000 likes on today's video, then I can promise you guys we're going to be coming back with another episode in this series. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And of course, if you did, why not subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else like this on a daily basis. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.